Hey guys, this is a video on heaps. Um, a heap is a specialized tree-based data structure that satisfies the heap property. There's two types of heap. There's the max heap, whose parents' value is greater than or equal to all of its children values, and then there's the min heap, whose value, whose parents' value is less than or equal to all of its children's values. Um, a heap is implemented using an array, and in an array index from one to n, where n is some positive integer, the left child index is equal to two times k, where k is equal to the current index of the element. And the right child index is equal to two times k plus one. Again, k is the current index of the element. And then the parent index is equal to k divided by two, round it down. So here we have an array. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a minimum heap. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that here, min heap. And um, you can see that it starts from one to six. So because it's min, um, our root, well, not just because it's min, but because it's a heap, the root is going to be um, at index one, and there's nothing in index zero, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. First, we have uh, six, the element six. So we place it into the heap, and it's at index one. I'm just gonna put a little one there. And it doesn't have uh, um, any parents. And right now it doesn't have any children. So that's okay. So next we'll move on. We will uh, create its children now. So it's at index one. And to follow this heap property, the, uh, the left child index is gonna be equal to two times K, where K is equal to our index value, which is one. So our left side, it's going to be two, because that's equal to two times one. So we go and look at the index two, and we get the element seven. And now what we do is we check. We say is seven, um, does seven follow the min heap um, condition, which is that the this child here is greater than or equal to its parent. And it does. Seven is greater than six. So now we move on. And we want to insert into the right of our current node. And the right child index is 2k plus one. So again, our k value is one. And let me actually, I'm going to write our k values out here so we don't get confused. Right now, our k value is equal to one. So two times k. 2k plus 1 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 1, which equals 3. So we go to index 3, and we get that value 12. And then we check. Oh, I messed that up there. We go to index 3, but we get the value 12. So 12 is there. And then we check. We say, does... 12 um, meet this meet this criteria. So 12 is the child of the parent, and this child is greater than this parent. 12 is greater than six, so it does check out. So it's good. So next, we're gonna go to index two. So now our K value equals two. And we wanna find the left child for it. Where does it go? So it's two times K. So left child is two times two, which equals four. So we go to index four and we get the value 10. We're on index four. And we check to see if 10 is uh, greater than seven. And it is, so it's good. So now we go to the right side. The right side is two K plus one. So we do two times two plus one, which equals five. So we're gonna to go to index five and get the value 15. And then we check, is 15 greater than seven? Yes, then that's good. So now we go to our uh, index three. So now K equals three. And we check the left child's index is two times three. So we get two times three, which equals six. 
So the value in here comes from index six, which is 17. And we're done. And now we've created our heap. And this heap has all of the properties that shown above. So thank you guys. I'm going to put up a video soon about heap sort. Uh, please leave likes, comments, or questions about this. And thanks for watching again. And I'll see you on the next video.